Okay, this is a tutorial on how to run a game which requires DirectX 11. For example, here I have Crisis 3, and after I start the program, in a few moments an error message is displayed. This one, you need a DirectX 11 capable GPU graphics card to play Crisis 3, and the game does not start. Okay, and here's a trick. To start the game, let's search for SDK for Windows 8. Let's go to the internet and search for SDK for Windows 8. Okay, and MSDN Microsoft. Let's go to this one. And Software Development Kit SDK for Windows 8. Install and download. It says 900 kilobytes only. This will download a larger file. Let's run directly this small file. And this one will download a larger directory, which is already downloaded here. And it will be 400 megabytes. So let's click continue. I'm minimizing this one. Let's download it onto the desktop. Okay, click next. Let all these things selected. It's 480 megabytes. Click download. Okay, and after the download is complete, click close. Go to the folder where it was downloaded. The folder itself is 464 megabytes. And here's the SDK setup. And run it. And let's install this software development kit. Okay, and after the installation is finished, let's go to the start menu and type DXCPL, DXCPL, press enter. Now let's go here to edit list and let's go here to these dots and search for the executable file of the program, in this case crisis free. I started it into this path click on the executable, open, and it's added, click OK. Now let's go here at feature level limit, set it to 11-0, and check force warp, and we can close it with OK. And now let's uh, start the program. So I'm running the executable of Crisis 3, and the game should start immediately. Meanwhile, let's go to the task manager. Task manager. And this is a 6 core CPU. And the CPU is used almost entirely in many cases. The menus are very fluid here, but the game itself is totally unplayable. You get one frame per second on, or even less. Press enter to begin. Okay, I run this program and notice that the menus are moving very fluently. And let's go to options and graphics and I set this all the way down. It can't go any more down. Full screen no, anti-aliasing disabled, texture, texture set to low, sync, specs, everything has, is at low. Okay, let's go back. Back again. I already started this game, resume, here it goes very well, but later you will see that it's totally unplayable, so you, you really need a DirectX 11 capable video card to play this game correctly. Initialization done, press enter to enter the game, and notice the text. The frame rate is very very low. The processor is utilized almost entirely. This is a 6 core Phenom CPU. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cores in the test manager. And if I run this video card tool, GPU-Z, and go to sensors, you can see that the GPU load is very low, 0% or 1%, and the game is running. And I'm using a GeForce 9800 which is DirectX 10 capable only and the DirectX 11 game 
is capable to run on the computer but not playable you can see the frame rate the frame rate is very low I can move the mouse I can move around but you really can't see much let's move to the left somehow okay it's moving come on come on oh some cables okay so that's it you can't really play this game with a DirectX 10 card you just can start it let's go to quit you can start it but you can't enjoy it this way yes 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 exit and the menus are very fine they move very well let's go to quit and yes and the CPU usage drops significantly down to one more zero okay that's it thank you bye bye